So here's just a couple of passwords that I've done fairly recently to show you the type of thing you can do with, you know, a limited uh, supply of passwords. Doesn't need to be complicated. You don't have to have lots and lots of different supplies. Now, the thing that brought me to pastels was I wanted a medium to use. You know, I love oils, but something I could pick up and put down. And I started to look at colored pencils. And the issue I had with those was because of my background in oils, I'm used to putting, being able to put light on top of dark and dark on top of light. Now, when you use colored pencils, and if I give you just a quick example, so just put a little bit of colored pencil down here just on some standard uh, drawing paper, nothing special. I'm not looking at all these different papers and that you can get. So if I put something dark down and then I try to draw light lines on top, it doesn't show up. Now, obviously you can then um, draw negatively, draw around the lines, but when you're talking something that has as many lines and haze and say this, meerkat that gets tedious and really time consuming now with pastels if i put something dark down so i'm using pastel matte paper here my preferred paper so if i just put a dark layer down if i then use a light pencil i can put light marks on top and vice versa if i put something light down there and i use the dark pencil i can put the dark marks on top that was a massive advantage for me because I then knew that I could use pastels just like I do with my oil paints. So after I decided I'd like to try pastels, then uh, the real nightmare kind of started because there were so many different types of supplies out there. Not just different manufacturing brands, but actually pastel pencils, soft pastels, pan pastels, some soft pastels were extremely soft, some were quite hard, like a pencil. What did I need? Did I need all of it? And it took me a long time to work out what I thought I needed. Initially, um, then I looked at papers and I got the paper wrong and nothing worked. I've said it before on old videos, it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do until I found the right paper. But that's, that's for another video. I want to keep this really basic. So a beginner can just go through these very short videos, not get overwhelmed and actually really make a start with pastels. The only thing for techniques like I'm using and the things I'm producing, the only thing you really need is pastel pencils to start with. There's various brands. Every pastel artist got their favorite. I'll just tell you what I like. If you want to research other pastel artists, carry on. But be aware or keep in mind um, the type of work they're producing. So if don't go researching into pastels, um, somebody who's doing broad, large abstracts, if you want to do wildlife art or you want to do pet portraits, you know, look at pet portrait artists or wildlife artists producing what you want to try to achieve and look at the supplies they're using. So this is one brand. This is one of my favorites, Faber Castell pit pastel pencils now they come a full set is 60 pencils okay now to start off with what you really want to do is probably begin with a very limited number of pencils now i've got my own tutorials out there a couple of them that use specifically very limited pencils so you can try it out just by a few i tell you the paper and everything as well I'll give you the reference image Give it a go and then for just a small amount of money you can say yep i really love it now i want to go into it more if you're experienced with pencils in any way so whether colored pencils or watercolor pencils anything you will know that the more you buy in one go the cheaper they are so as i said this is a 60 set so it's cheaper to buy or usually the 60 set than if you was buying the smaller sets or if you was buying individual pencils and buying 60 of them and I can tell you if you are going to get into pencils then you will want eventually lots of colors because we don't mix them as we do paints to create different colors so a nice easy way to start with pastels don't even bother looking at all the other stuff yet just get a 
a set of pencils or, or from my tutorial you know there's only about 12 pencils or something in the tutorial get those and make a start so Faber Castell is one of my favorites another brand I'd suggest you look at is called Carbothello they're very similar to um, the pit Faber Castell pit ones Stabilo Carbothello that's another nice set very reasonably priced as well don't think for one minute you need to buy the most expensive brands and the most expensive brands pretty much Caran d'Ache they got an extremely high light fast rating they got some lovely colors they're about two and a half to three times the price of Carbothello and Pitt and I find them very soft if you've got a very soft pencil then you'll struggle to sharpen it with anything other than a razor blade keep that in mind before you start investing lots of money in these and also don't buy supplies that you're then going to be so worried about using because you think they're too expensive or that holds you back I've got a few of these in my set I've got nothing against them at all but if you are thinking or oh, I'm blocking in an area oh my god that's going to cost me two pencils or seven pound or something like that and it puts you off even using them you know keep that in mind so Pitt Carbothello both really good ones to start with Conti that's another good one they got a set of pencils too some lovely colors in there it's a set of 48 you can also use those the thing to keep in mind with this set is the pencil shaft is very wide if I compare it in my hand against the Carbothello I think you can see that it's much much wider that means if you're using a crank handle sharpener like I like to use it won't fit in most of them you then have to sharpen with a blade or with the Conti uh, sharpener that comes with them usually so something else to keep in mind so as I said I want to keep this video very very simple very short it's going to be a series of videos I don't want to overwhelm anybody with tons of information what I want you to do is actually make a start with pastels and enjoy the hobby so all I'd say on this first short video if you're thinking about starting pastels have a look at my um, tutorial for complete beginners if you want a nice easy cheap way to start them on the next video I'm going to talk about paper and that's as critical if not more critical than the pencils just wanted to quickly mention my Patreon channel for those looking for even more in-depth art instruction. It's packed full of pastel videos, oil videos as well, and those videos are being added to new ones every single month. I have videos for the complete beginner that have never done pastels or oils before with just limited supplies. And I take you from the very first blocking in all the way through to the final detailed drawings and paintings. I've also got some really unusual subjects as well and in all of my videos I always take you through all the details you see everything I do how I create my work. But it's not just for beginners it's also for novices and I also show the best artwork that I've ever done as well and this particular elephant video spans six hours so you know you're going to see tons and tons of details tips and techniques and as mentioned I've got lots of oil videos on there too so there really is something for everybody and you get access to hundreds of hours worth of videos for just four dollars now over a thousand members strong hope to see you there soon